Whoa, it's windy up here. Uh, I'm just uh, on a rocky outcrop in the uh, nearby park. It's quite nice out here actually. Just catching the last few rays of sunshine. Uh, I wanted to update you on um, what's going to happen for the rest of this project because like I said before I've sort of failed this challenge in that I couldn't give up mains electricity completely over 40 days. But what I want to say is that it's not over. Um, the challenge might have been failed but the purpose behind it um, still remains which is to uh, raise awareness of how much energy we're using, uh, trying to come up with different ways of generating it sustainably, um, just try to promote sort of um, thinking about the topic, discussing the topic. Um, yeah, so um, on Thursday I'm hopefully going to get a new one. That at least. Uh, work, um, I'm still going to use mains for, um, at least until I can, we can figure out how to get the spike working properly. Because what actually happened on Saturday, uh, I'm not sure if you can see the detail, but um, this has actually been completely, almost completely rubbed smooth by the dynamos from all the cycling I've done. Uh, and also the dynamos have started to get worn in places. That, uh, yeah, like on this one. Uh, if you take a careful look, like it's almost completely smooth in places and it's it, a lot of the time the dynamos are running sort of half speed or not at all, um, which isn't great. Um, especially as like I wanted to order more dynamos and have them installed because that's just going to double the friction and uh, make the twice as fast, which isn't as good. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, something else. Um, last week, it was very exciting. Uh, I'm just trying to light, basically. I'm just trying to light. The forest is really bright. And then I realised uh, it's this thing here. Um, and so I whacked that out. Charging on USB, um, and it charged 33% to, to a total of 33% in that morning in those three hours. For new renewables, cycling for six hours, not like the day before, pretty much. Um, I was completely exhausted from that, and then this just whacks the, the charger, um, and that's great. So um, I've been relying on this panel a lot for the past few days. Um, and yeah, it's just one of the things that I've been using. The weather's only just started becoming hotter. Like in the winter, it's, it's no good. You get like two percent out of it uh, in the morning. Uh, it's just the, the sun's just too weak, but. Um, as soon as you can feel the sunlight on your skin, as soon as you can feel it, feel the warmth, you know the sun's strong enough to um, power stuff. So that's great. Um, so I'm going to be using that a lot more now, actually relying on that. Most of the charge on my phone now is coming from the solar panel, not from the mains, so that's great. Um, hopefully if I keep this strong I can actually upload it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, there's, there's hope. Um, I'm excited uh, for what the future could hold, like, um, at least, it's not hopeless, it's, um, there's the, the stuff we can do. Uh, so I'll be working on this, uh, going to hack my computer. Other than that, I think that's everything. Uh, project's still going, uh, I'll still keep vlogging, trying to raise, raise awareness. Thanks to everyone who's been supporting me, messaging me, um, that great stuff. It really, it really does help. I'm really grateful for that. Um, it really helps me keep keep me going. Um, so thank you. All right, that's it for me. Uh, see you.